Welcome to AutoCount Cloud Payroll. Today we're going to take a look on how to migrate data from on-premise to our cloud-based solution. First, come over to this uh, payroll subscription page. Click on the top left icon to get here. Next, click on API maintenance under your services. Right, next what you need to do is to create an API. How to do that? Click on the top right icon, add new. Key in the title, anything will do. And most importantly, select the correct API type which is Payroll 2.x Migration. Select the company that you're going to handle or migrate the data today and click on Save. Alright, once that is saved, it will appear here and your API key will show up here. Click on Copy and keep that for later. Scroll down and select and download your applications. So, what you're going to need today is our migration tool for Payroll 2.x. Once you have downloaded it, it will be in a zip file. Install this program and you would be able to continue to the next step once the app is installed make sure you run the app as admin to ensure zero issues okay with that api key that we have created earlier paste it into the api column and remember to select the live server click on login and the system will actually load your companies that you selected here. So if you select multi-company, multiple companies will be here. But we recommend to do it one by one. Alright, click on second company. Next, what you need to do is you need to locate the database file of your on-premise system. Click on browse and normally the system will bring you to the database folder. However, if not, please locate the file appropriately under the auto count, payroll and DB folder. Alright, select the database that you're going to be transferring today. Open. Alright, so if you are trying to migrate a database uh, name which is different, for example, the local database file is AutoCounts and Jan Bahad, and I'm going to upgrade to a different company name, the system will prompt and you can actually uh, choose to continue or not. This is to prevent uploading data to the wrong subscription or company. Alright, so once that is done, you have ways to uh, upload the, the information, maintenance, transaction and others. We recommend you to do it one by one. Uh, you can click on start migrate which will migrate all of the data without filtering. However, I recommend to do it one by one. Alright, first, it will be maintenance info such as company profile, department, bank, EPF and so on. Okay, so here, so uh, I want to talk about these three uh, item or status info first. So there is uh, update, there is new and also existed. So for uh, update meaning that your uh, cloud-based site will have already the info and this will update and rewrite the data based on your local files. So it will update. Okay, and then you have the option to tick or untick. So maybe you do not want to change the info or cloud site is the latest, you just untick this. Alright, so let's take a look. So for new, meaning that it does not exist yet on the cloud side, so you tick on it and let the system uh, create and create new. Those which is existed, meaning that same info uh, and already existed, the system will actually automatically untick. So you will not be able to select it anymore. And for those who is selected, you can actually untick if you do not wish to upload the data. Alright, so you just double check which what kind of information do you want to upload and uh, save it to the system. And finally, we want to talk about employee. Okay, so uh, your clients uh, might say that they have a lot of employees who are already resigned and they do not wish to upload that information to the cloud-based system. So uh, that is actually what we recommend is that you delete the employee info from your on-premise site. So uh, you might have thousands or hundreds of employees that you do not want to go and select or unselect one by one. So it's better to delete from the old system rather than selecting one by one here. Alright, so uh, all the information you can actually expand to see what allowance or anything like that they are affected uh, which is linked to them and you will be able to uh, select uncheck and everything. So uh, once you are satisfied with all the info here, the ticks tick whatever you want to upload, what you need to do is click on migrate. So once you migrate, it will only migrate part 1 which is maintenance data. 
once it's done you can move over to the second option which is transaction so here your transaction info payroll transaction info all will be listed however uh, like I mentioned if you want to upload you just untick and untick the information here as listed so uh, you do it one by one and make sure that everything is submitted if there is an error code take note of the error code and you may contact our support site let them know what error do you see and everything should be fine so remember up, click on migrate to migrate data and if there's any code error this let us know with the error code so i believe that is all uh, thank you for watching goodbye